been a minute since I recorded one of these, but we're gonna talk about, I guess the three main reasons, um, in my opinion, that most people do not hit their goals. Um, so no specific order, just kind of gonna throw these out there. So the first one being that your goals are not specific enough. Um, they're very broad, like you're focused on outcome goals and you haven't necessarily figured out the process of how you're gonna get there. So you, your goal is, um, I wanna lose 20 pounds. That's too broad, right? So you need to be very specific about, okay, you wanna lose 20 pounds, but what are you gonna do to do that? That's your goal. Your goal of lose, the outcome, you wanna lose 20 pounds, but in order to lose 20 pounds, what do you need to do to get there? Then those little things, those are your goals. Those are your actual goals. So do you need to move more? Do you need to sleep more? Do you need to eat more fruits and vegetables? Do you need to eat more protein? Do you need to, um, I don't know, cut down on alcohol? Do you need to, you know what I mean? Like that's the goal. The goals are the smaller parts of that big outcome goal to get you there. Not necessarily saying I wanna lose 20 pounds. That goal is not specific enough because it doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't help you build a plan. Um, kind of tied into that, I would say not being specific enough is also you haven't really identified why. Why do you wanna lose 20 pounds? How is it gonna change your life? Can you picture your life 20 pounds less from now and like what do you envision what do you see your life as of that person um so that that why is going to help pull you back whenever after the first 30 days it's no longer exciting um it's no longer working fast enough it's no longer fun it's no longer cool um it, that's just the why like okay i'm doing this because i want to be able to move better with my children i want to be able to carry things by myself. I wanna be able to not be winded when I take the stairs. I want to feel good in my clothes. I wanna feel confident in myself. Whatever your why is, you know? Um, you need to establish the why deep down of why you're doing this um, and, and focus on it, you know? And bring yourself back to that every time you need it. Um, the next thing is you are trying to do too many things at once. So you did the right thing and you have the outcome goal and then you also have the process goal. So you know, I need to move more, I need to drink more water, I need to sleep, I need to get my workouts in, I need to eat more fruits and vegetables, I need to prioritize my protein, I need to um, cut out alcohol, I need to whatever, um, track my calories, whatever it is that you need to do, you've established all of that, which is great, but then you're trying to do it all at the same time. You're like, perfect. This, I'm gonna do all of this starting right now. I'm gonna walk more, I'm gonna, you know, so on and so on. Um, there are too many at once. Although I understand we want things fast and, you know, we wanna be able just to change our behaviors, but unfortunately changing behaviors is not as simple as us wanting to. It has so much to do with your mindset, um, your habits that you've instilled in yourself for many, 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 many years. Um, the way you speak to yourself and about yourself, what you've conditioned yourself to feel about yourself, whether it's positive or negative, all of that is associated with behavior change and whether you can actually make a lasting change or not. And so when you list a, a list of eight things, although yes, I agree, those are all great, those are all things that you do need to implement, trying to do them all at once is only going to lead to you not being able to do it because it's very unrealistic. Um, and I don't care what your discipline level is, like it's unrealistic to say that, you know, all of a sudden you're gonna change eight behavior, eight significant behaviors in your life when you've never done it before. Um, or you have never, because I hate to say you've never done it before, I have met people that literally turned it on and said this, to, after today, this is it, I'm sick of this life. But they also, it wasn't like overnight, they were living this cycle of a life for years and years, but you know, that's not the norm and you shouldn't expect yourself to do that. So what I suggest is that you pick one thing, <laughs> maybe two. Maybe if your sleep is already under control, like sleep is something that you don't have to think about, you always get your sleep in, cool. Then sleep and um, walks can be your first thing. I'm just using that as an example, pick whatever you want. But sleep and walks can be your first like priority kind of thing. Um, two at a time, you know what I'm saying? Like you need to see how that goes for four, six, eight weeks. Make some real like traction in it, you know? Get some real like motivation 
Like start checking off those boxes that you can do it. Start proving to yourself and instilling that confidence in yourself that you can make these changes, that you can be successful at this. And then you add in, okay? Um, and you could do it two ways. So you could do pick the most, the easiest thing that you have. It also needs to be some sort of a challenge. It has to be some sort of resistance for you to even be interested in doing it, obviously. But it can't be so hard as to like, from this day forward, I no longer eat sugar. Like, you know, it has to be a challenge, but it also has to be attainable. So that way you can start checking off that confidence. So this week I'm going to eat dessert four times instead of seven. You know what I mean? And somebody might be like, four times? That's still like, I'm gonna eat dessert mo most of the week? Yeah, but guess what? Last week you ate it seven times. You know what I mean? Like recognizing that that is the level that we need to take it and stop trying to just like bulldoze through it is how you're going to be successful um or you could choose the hardest thing on your list easiest or the hardest it depends on the type of person that you are you have to figure that out for yourself pick the easiest thing on your list like i said this week i'm only going to eat you know four that's easy for me whatever i'm going to eat dessert four times or you could pick the hardest thing on your list if you have a hard time working out you know, okay, I want to work out twice a week this week. Whichever one you prefer, but you need to pick something and make it one to two things that you can manage and not try to change your entire lifestyle in 30 days or in a week, or you know? Um, and then finally, you are white knuckling it through this shit, okay? <sighs> of course, I had to get aggressive at some point. Um, so I just see this so often um, people out our are putting this great, amazing plan together that is making them miserable. Like you don't enjoy any of this and you think this is going to be sustainable. That's not going to work. You're literally white knuckling it through it. You're trying to hit your goal. And then after you hit your goal, you've learned nothing and you're going to go right back to the old other habits and behaviors because this lifestyle is not sustainable for you if it is not sustainable for you to cook at home five days a week you need to eat out because of your work your lifestyle your children your whatever then you need to figure out okay how do we make that work but you can also stay healthy while you eat out let's figure that out you know um or if you know it's unrealistic for you to try to work out five days a week, four days a week is unrealistic for you because again, your lifestyle, your habits, like you try to go to the gym four days a week and you're like, I'm just gonna white knuckle it right now because once I hit to my goal, then I can pull back on all of this. That's not it. The plan that you're doing right now needs to be one that you can kind of build and grow on, but essentially is the same foundation of what you plan to do forever, you know? That's how you're gonna sustain these healthy habits and this lifestyle change because you're not actually learning anything you're just pushing through it you're like i just need to lose these 15 pounds once i lose these 15 pounds i'm not gonna do cardio anymore i'm not gonna pack my lunch anymore i'm not gonna cook at home i'm not gonna go for you know what i mean like you're just forcing yourself to do all of these things that you don't genuinely enjoy so you need to sit down and have an honest talk with yourself and figure out what things that you enjoy how can you incorporate all of these things into your lifestyle while still also incorporating some of the things that you need to incorporate and hit your goals. It is possible. I know it's like, how is that even possible? Because all I like to do is eat pizza and sit on the couch. You know, you gotta work with, you gotta, you gotta work a little bit. But um, it is possible to still enjoy, still have your life very, you know, something that you enjoy and that is a healthy lifestyle at the same time. They're not opposites. Like you don't have to be miserable because you're dieting and trying to lose weight. But then whenever you're out of that, you're gonna be happy again, you know? Um, so those are the major things that I see is that your goals are not specific enough. Um, you haven't really figured out your why, like why are you doing this, what's the point? Um, you're trying to do too many things at once. And then finally, your plan is not sustainable for you. You plucked some Instagram girl's <laughs> plan from you know her profile and it is not conducive to your lifestyle and your responsibilities and the things that you have access to and your availability and schedule. So. Short and sweet, all right? If you have any questions at all, just message me. You can email me, comment, find me on Instagram, whatever. All right, bye.